what a weirdly wonderful wacky way 2020 went. January jolted my jovial nature. Feeling fresh, flight landed me in London. Winter dark dimmed my desire, but it was work, making mincemeat of my mind. Manager marauded in the meetings with malicious intent, or so it felt. Death and despair darkened my doorways with funerals flowing. Certainly, creativity ceased as my cognitive capabilities came to a close. Geriatric gatherings generate ideology to a gruesome demise. Heroism halts inhumane horrors. February frantically fixated on fortunes flittering away. Fitness finally at the forefront of my desires. Plus prose and storytelling. Satisfyingly subjected to passionate pursuits. Finalising my first book. Governmental next steps secretly delivered to the masses. Hidden in plain sight, putting psychological well-being at risk. A gradual fermentation. Fear is dished out generously, generating gaps between generations. Grandparents commence self-incarceration. Inconclusive information infests the consciousness of my closest compadres. March marched miraculously into contradictory cautious conversations about contagion. Panic people pluck precious preserves and provisions from the shelves, leaving little bellies hungry. Horrid hoarders hurt me as they harboured excessive edibles, hindering my heightened health. Vegetable varieties lacked. I functioned, focused on forward thinking despite being surrounded by sadness, selfishness, and scared souls. Solitude allowed afterthought and reflection. Restrategized and reigned as my calendar of events evaporated with the lockdown. April approved my athletic endeavors. Daily doses of jogs, jaunts and jesting kept my mind motivated. Mentality maintains moving with purpose against the tyrannical tides of tales, truths and stories seeking a subdued society. Writing my own words wandered willingly, putting pen to paper persistently, portraying reality poetically. May looked like maybe, making man's mentality melt as we floundered on the fringes of freedom. Feeling frustrated with an invisible lock and key, keeping kin disastrously disconnected. Isolation from my main mom manifested itself in meditation. Musical melodies motivated during a mediocre month of movies and munchies. Concluded after judicial justice appeared absent. Guilty. Gestures grew in gratuitous gore. George. June. What a joke. Restrictions recited with re repercussions. Rated R. Tentatively, I thought about securing a social media presence. It started sluggish. Racial rebellion and riots ran rampant with a cross-Atlantic act of aggression against an African-American brother. Reminders of my own experiences exhumed expeditiously from the dark, dusky, dank depths of my subconscious. Surfacing to ignite incessant rage resolved. Never. Pain perpetuously pumped feelings of vengeance via vivid reminders of my historic violence. Reverberations ran rapidly around the world as we watched wickedness unfold. Groups and gatherings banned, but behind masks, mouths made manifest changes in culture, supposedly. July jumped with illegal jubilation full of heat due to perished pollution paving the way to summer sun and fun. Drinks in public, parks populated with people pursuing reconnection, rendezvous and reminiscing of a time historical, apparent. Energy pulsating vibrantly. Nature nurtured us regenerating, renewing what was once ravaged. The rule of sick sick, confusing family. 
friends and affiliates whilst encouraging and excluding society senior citizens. Perfect opportunity to touch up on my video editing. Education evolved exponentially with nothing but time. Juggling joyously between exercise and social. August. My world has seriously slowed. Sloth like I battle succumbing to slovenly strangeness. Physically. My shape is superior. Showcasing sportsman strength and skill. Weekly. Watching my website unfold to display the art aggressively appearing from the abyss of my abstract mind. Eat out. Opportunities to rescue restaurants. Repercussions roam around the revelry. Whimsical with a year of comparable peace to those travelled, towing turbulence before. Life, loss, and love. The inevitable threesome. Concluding the championship circuit of 29 days, dancing with disability, injury incapacitated, infuriated, left inconsolable. September. A month of social unwinding, healing, health hangs harmoniously overhead, just out of reach. I watch the world waltz away, leaving me to contemplate. Children could carry corona to schools, severity of sickness is sealed. The pandemic persists after heat wave and sunshades tell tales of thinkable trickery. Rules rampantly regulating individuals indicating death's dubious dealings are lurking longingly for leniency in the immunity of communities. News reaches. Death does its dirty work. Cancer comes callously, ignoring the continued calls of ceasefire. Separately, my family, fractured frivolously, Significantly suffer nine months of tribulations, tethered to unrelated experiences of C19, grave in nature, negatively gnawing at my nerves, tingled sensations, see sleep slip into slumber from which I cannot wake it without war. October, the month of blackness, backed by brothers and sisters, bound by multiple misunderstood cultures. Live learning was lacking. But digital broke barriers, details of dealings delving deeply into the shady side of the British shores. Autumn leaves, leave less, landscapes looking lawn. Monotonous life kicks in furiously. My book launched weeks before, bored and beckons, audio visual advances. November, not a month favoured the best of times. Tough, traversing transport through a city restricted, barren. Blood bonds broken beget suicide ideation, craving, conjecture, rekindling of relationships kindred, severed since street sentient supplied services rendered. December. Dead. Dormant. Dire and destitute. Mangled mental health materialised into manslaughter on the mind. A movement towards matricide. Now, a necessity for nothing more than tier four. <laughs> good one. Goodbye, good riddance, good show, good life. Good end. 2020. Thank you for watching and listening. If you're feeling my channel, remember to show some love and help me grow. Like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about my latest videos.